getting ready to go out for a hot second um i have been meaning to do this about the soho karen uh i kind of get a kick out of the karens i just don't really say much about them but my opinion is really great for these but the first one that i actually wanted to pay attention to more than anything has been the one um with Gail King. And Gail King did an interview with her on Monday. Um, and I've been meaning to post about it. Um, her name is Nia Ponsetto. Uh, the young lady, I, I understand. Let me just say this. Everyone has a moment. But she's grown. And as I did a little research in the past few days on her and videos have popped up that she's been arrested and she's been belligerent to people prior to so the issue I had with her beyond just what she did to the 14 year old kid um, is that she just has no social skills she has not been raised well let me just put it like that as my grandmother would say you have not been raised well, or you should know better that a way you have been raised. And obviously, she has not been raised well. Um, the first issue was, um, let me just give a quick little backstory. Me and Ponsetto um, tackled a 14-year-old uh, boy. I w can't remember his name right now off the top of my head, but his father is a jazz musician in New York. And they were all at a hotel. <clears throat> and she lost her phone or misplaced her phone. And she tackled this young man thinking that he had stolen her phone. Now, the issue for me with the phone situation was... There are several ways, and we all have smartphones. And again, just because you have a smartphone doesn't make you smart, obviously, and she just proved it. Um, so she could have had the front desk from the hotel stop and... Um, she could have had the hotel call the phone while he was standing there. She could have had the manager ask him to open the phone. And, you know, there could have been several ways. There was find my phone. All these different ways that you can find a smartphone in someone else's hands beyond going into a verbal assault. My issue wasn't just the phone issue and her assaulting a 14-year-old kid. Is that her, her comments and her nasty attitude is what pissed me off more than anything. The first thing was um, Gail kind of lost control of this, this interview. Gail really lost control of this interview. To me, she lost control because she allowed her to dance around things. And personally, I think Gail has been really, I don't want to say she's been soft shoeing everyone since the whole Kobe Bryant issue, but lately it just seems like she's not going in and telling people, listen, slow down and let's start from the beginning. This is what it looks like. You look like you've done this. And she didn't let that happen. She let the young lady over talk her. Um, the problem I had more than anything was um, she gave her softball questions and me personally, I'm not an interviewer, and I, I say this to all my friends that are journalists, 
and people that I know in media, I would have gathered her behind like a short ponytail on Amber Rose because she was talking dis disrespectful. That was the first thing. Um, she didn't know how to speak to anyone. She actually, um, she had issues with the cops prior to, even when they went to arrest her um, for a drinking and driving incident previously. So Miss Ponsetto has been doing things very nasty, very wrong for a while. Um, one of the biggest issues that I did notice is that she never apologized. She never apologized properly. She basically said, well, I'm sorry he felt like I did. I hate that. That's not an apology. Well, if I, made, if I made you feel like something, I apologize. No, that's not an apology. Apologize properly. And then I will have a little bit more respect for you. Um, she wanted to keep saying that, you know, this is, this is, I didn't treat him. I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, what was it? She was Hispanic or she said that she was, she was of another descent, uh, you know, basically saying because I'm a minority too. I, I can't be racist, but that wasn't the case. You have traumatized a 14-year-old. And as Gail was asking her on several moments, she said, okay, well, um, your conduct and your attitude was disrespectful because you wouldn't let him leave. It sh shows on the video that you were captured on that you you know, grabbed and tackled him. No, I just didn't want him to leave. Yes, you grabbed and tackled him. And it was just disrespectful. Um, I just think she needs to learn how to speak to people before she do anything else. She never, her, her comment about, well, I'm a kid. I, I'm in the same age as him at heart. No, you're a 22 year old woman who attacked a 14 year old young man, regardless, a young boy. And let's keep putting that into perspective. I don't care how tall these people are. I don't care how short they are, woman or man, someone's 14, and a person that's 22, the age difference there should be a lot of maturity. And Miss Ponsetto had none of it. What uh, really took me aback, um, aback was uh, Gail enough in the hand. First off, I don't care. My mama would have snatched you up. I'm going to tell you that now. My grandma was good at, uh, excuse me, I'm talking, pay attention, and listen, these are the questions, you want to tell me how to conduct an interview, and you've done something wrong, and that was what I was offended by with this whole video, more than the, the caring of it all, or the silliness of this, what pissed me off more than anything, was um, her tone and demeanor and trying to tell someone how to run their interview. I didn't like that. I thought that was terrible. Um, I just think that Gail should have explained to her when she tried to lie and say that the young man's um, father uh, slammed her to the ground and pulled her hair was a lie. I'm quite sure CBS has done their research and that would have been on camera somewhere. And I'm not just talking about a handheld phone camera that would have been on video security footage. And I'm quite sure 
the hotel would have given that up first just to stop all of this madness. So I was offended by that when she lied and said that because it was like, I'm going to make sure I um, tried to say that they did something to me too. So what I did, my behavior is not bad. It's not bad. I'm not bad because I, I was defending myself. No, you weren't. The man was pulling you off his son. He didn't slam you. He didn't pull your hair. He didn't do any of these little things that you're trying to use. Even her attorney was trying to slow her down. And I felt like this. The attorney should have taken over the interview. The attorney should have taken over the interview and told Gail this. Okay, I'll handle the interview from here or we need to cancel this interview at this point. Because my client is not um, properly, she's not properly prepared. She had, she, we did not have, she doesn't have an apology. But there was some way that that attorney should have cut, cut that off. Because if she couldn't handle those little softball questions that Gail King was giving her, deposition, mediation, and a trial, she is going to get slaughtered. And I mean slaughtered to the point where no one is going to care. I mean, a fresh out of law school attorney will eat her alive because there is no enough. Don't ask me those questions. There is none of that in court or in a deposition. You have to answer those questions or the judge will make you or you will go to jail. I do feel like she do need to sit in someone's jail, not because of just being the Karen or whatever they are calling this foolishness right now. It's because she needs to learn how to respect other people's personal space. She didn't, res she doesn't respect the young man or his family. She still hasn't uh, officially apologized. She basically was feeling like, well, I'm saying uh, I made a mistake, so let's move on. That's not how that go. And I'm going to tell you like I know, if it was my mama, and if that, that was my brother and my mama, oh, she wouldn't have liked the outcome because my mama would have just went on and took it all the way to the streets for it. She wouldn't even gave a damn. Let me show you how this is done because it ain't no way in hell you're going to put your hand on my kid. And that's going to be that. And so I just felt like her maturity level may have been at the age of a 14-year-old. But as a grown woman, someone should have explained to her, these are not the facts in which you want to keep telling people you live in. So that's what annoyed me more or less. Um, my last little thing about it was that um she can't take she can't she's never gonna grow up if she constantly feels like well someone's gonna save me so basically she's almost getting saved because of um she's getting saved because of um the attorney and the the charges being brought against her for her attack on this young person. If she had to actually pay attention to what's going on, she would be a little bit better. I think it's time for her to understand that, that she needs to grow up. Um, and I, I think that, you know, she needed to be told that your attitude is not sincere. And no, the family is not going to accept you talking to them in this manner. So me, me Chaka feels like she need to get her act all the way together. And I mean all the way together. I mean her attorney after that interview should have been the one to tell her, you don't go to jail if you do not learn how to talk to people. This is why you're in the problems you're having now. This is me, and I just want to say, you know, 
I'll talk to you about some new things later. I just wanted to put this one out here. But, again, as you all know, I learned that in my 40s that I'm supposed to buy the drinks. So I will be toasting this one up to all the Karens out here in the world. America has become a horrifying place, especially with things like this. Have a good night.